Welcome back to Visual Nova. In this video we're diving into smooth and dynamic 3D camera movements inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Whether you want cinematic push-ins, clean vertical moves, or immersive 3D screen grabs, this tutorial will walk you through everything step by step. Let's get started. So first, we'll add a fusion composition to our timeline. You can do this in two ways. Right-click in the media pool and select New Fusion Composition. Go to Toolbox, Effects and drag the Fusion Composition directly onto your timeline. I'll slightly increase the length of this composition, and you can set it according to your project. Now let's dive into the Fusion panel. You'll see we only have a single node, the Media Out node. From the Media Pool, drag your Still Grab into the Fusion workspace. Now we have two nodes, Media In and Media Out. Turn on Media In in your left viewer. Here you can see my previous project timeline still from Duniapur. This drama has been one of the biggest and most creatively demanding projects of my career. The storytelling, pacing, and emotional depth of the scenes required extremely detailed editing, and I'm proud of how it all came together. This still is from Episode 1. Now let's build a basic 3D setup. Connect Image Plane 3D to the media in. Now add a Camera 3D. And finally add a Renderer 3D node. This is the basic 3D camera setup we need for any kind of camera tracking, movement, or animation. Now we'll create a background. Add a background node. Connect it to Media Out. Select the background and set Alpha to 0 in the inspector. Now connect the Renderer 3D to the background just like this. Open the Image Plane 3D in the left viewer. Select the Camera 3D and resize your viewer so you can work easily. Hold Alt plus scroll to orbit around and view your 3D scene. Now pull the camera back on the Z-axis until your image appears clearly in the right viewer. Set this distance according to your shot. Next, we'll animate our camera with movement. Go to the Camera 3D Transform Controls. Here you'll see the X, Y, Z translation controls. These determine your camera's position. We can move the camera right, left, up, down or zoom in slash out. I'll zoom in slightly on the timeline section of the image. That looks good. Now go to Rotation. These values rotate your camera around the 3D space. My plan is to make the camera start at the top of the timeline, move downward, and then slide toward the right side of the image where the character and my name are visible. So I'll adjust the X rotation a bit to give the shot a more natural 3D look. Also zoom in slightly more so the framing feels right. Move the playhead to the beginning. Add keyframes for translation X, Y, Z. Then move the playhead to the center. Adjust the Z-axis to push the camera outward, away from the image. Pull the Y-axis downward to follow the timeline. Now go to the end of the composition. Adjust X and Y so the camera moves to the right toward the window section just like we planned. Go ahead and play it. You'll see the camera first move downward, smoothly following the timeline section of the image, and then shift toward the left side viewer window in a clean, controlled 3D motion. This is exactly the type of realistic camera movement we aim for. You'll notice that when the camera moves to the right, there is a jump or a harsh movement. Don't worry we'll fix that. Open the spline editor. Check the camera 3D box. Click zoom to fit. Select all the keyframes and click the smooth icon. Now your entire animation becomes smooth. Play it again. You'll see the camera movement is now perfectly fluid and natural. This is the complete basic setup for smooth 3D camera movements and animation inside Fusion. Now we move on to the 3D zoom transition. First, drag your footage onto the edit timeline. Right-click on it and choose New Fusion Clip. Now let's dive into the Fusion panel. Here we have two nodes, Media In and Media Out. Select the Media In node and create a mask. You can use the Ellipse tool, or if you want to customize the shape, you can also use Polygon or B-Spline. But I'll use the Ellipse tool because it's easy and perfect for creating a clean circular mask. Now adjust your mask into a small circle. As you can see, my current footage is a camera, and I'm drawing a small circle on the lens area. This part may take a little time, but the cleaner your masking is, the smoother your final transition will look. 
Once your mask is 100% ready, go to the right side ellipse controls and invert the mask. Now disconnect the media in node from the media out node. Next, create your basic 3D setup with the media in node. Add image plane 3D, merge 3D and renderer 3D, and connect the renderer 3D to media out like this. Now add a camera 3D node and connect it to the merge 3D node. Turn on the merge 3D viewer on your left window. Next, select the camera 3D node and go to the right side transform tab. Push the z-axis backward, and adjust x and y to position your image properly in the viewer. Now use the X and Y axis to position the image properly in the right side viewer. This placement looks perfect for our shot. Make sure your framing feels balanced. I think this looks good. Now we'll add duplicate 3D to the image plane 3D node. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Space, search for duplicate 3D and add it. Connect it to the image plane. Go to the right side controls and set copies to 10. Now scroll down to the translation section and increase the Z offset. Adjust this according to your scene. I'm setting my Z offset to minus 0.25. Next, let's animate the zoom. Select the camera 3D node. Place the playhead at the beginning and set a keyframe on the Z axis. Move the playhead forward to where you want your transition to finish. Now push the Z axis inward slowly until your image completely disappears and the frame becomes fully alpha. Play it and see. Our 3D transition is ready. Now let's make it smoother. Open the spline editor. Check camera 3D. Hit fit to zoom. Select all keyframes. And hit S to smooth them out. Then smooth both sides of the curve like this. Turn off the spline editor. Go back to your edit panel. Place your fusion clip on V2. Underneath it, place the second video, example your next scene. I'm placing this clip under it as an example. Now play it. And you can see we have a cool clean 3D zoom transition fully ready. You can use this transition in documentaries, music videos, client projects, or even your own videos. Anytime you want to move smoothly from one scene to another. So this trick is done. And that wraps up today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed these two powerful 3D tricks and learned something new that you can use in your own projects. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Fusion and DaVinci Resolve tips just like this. I upload these tutorials regularly, and every part is packed with unique and advanced editing techniques. So don't miss out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.